Okay. Welcome. Uh, here is the instruction video that I suggested on um, Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. I'm going to play through the chords you're familiar with first, and then I'm going to play alternate, an alternate version. So we start with a C into an E7, A7, slide in if you want, F, A7, D minor. We've got an F, a diminished F sharp, D, 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 D7, and a G. Okay, that's the that's the version you are familiar with. Yeah, I, I believe. Um, now, first off, I'm going to play it up here, right? I'm going to quickly play it first, and then I'm going to talk through how it's put together. So we've got this. Okay, that is one way of playing it. Um, there are alternate ways of playing it, but I'll just talk you through how this one works. Okay, so there's going to be a couple of shapes that you don't really recognise, um, and hopefully I'll explain them well enough. Uh, right, so we got start off with the C. The C shape comes from the bar chord, okay, but we only play these notes of it. Well, I've been playing only these notes of it. From the D string, the G string, and the B string. Yeah. So if I was to show you what my fingers are playing without a bar, it's these three. That's the C chord, yeah. The E7 that I play, yeah, is this one. And that is the A7 slid right up to the ninth fret, right? Okay. So that bit goes Next chord we need is an A7, right? And in order to do that, what I do is take the D7 shape here and slide it up to the uh, eighth fret. So we got a C, E7 and A. A7, yeah, have you got that? C, E7, a7. And obviously you can slide in and out of these chords, so we could have a... Yeah, all of that kind of stuff, however you want to do it. The next one is probably a chord that you're not familiar with, and that's playing an F like this, right? Okay, so it's that shape, the best I can show you. Now, to explain how this shape exists, I'm going to digress a little bit and show you a full D. Now, the D chord that we know is this one. A full D chord is like this. Okay? And you're playing the D note here. Bear with me while I figure this out. And you are playing the F sharp note here. Yeah? You are playing the A note here. And you're playing the D note here and the F sharp on the top string, okay? Now, if I take my little finger away, right? And play the D string, the G string and the B string, that's me taking through the three notes that I need out of that D chord shape, okay? Now, if I slide that up here, I get um, an E flat. Yeah, if I slide it up here, I get an E chord. Now if I slide it once more, up to the 5th fret, I get the F chord that I use, okay? And our next part of the tune goes F, A, now I use the Robert Johnson A, and D minor. Now the D minor is here, yeah? On the fifth fret and what I do is I take my 
first finger and second finger and take it on the base of the, the, the D minor, yeah? So I get my first finger on the fifth fret and my sixth finger on the B string on the seventh fret and I bend it and my third finger plays off that note there, which is, what note is that? Let me just have a think. It is an A note. No, sorry, it's a D note. So it's like this. Okay, so that little sequence goes F. Yeah, can you see that F? Robert Johnson A, D minor riff. Now if we put those two sections together, we've got a C, an E7, an A7, yeah? And then we move to the F, Robert Johnson A and D minor riff. All right. Now the next bit's going to be a bit confusing because it, it uses a diminished chord. The first time we played the diminished chord, I played it down here like this. Um, there's a thing about d diminished chords that means they, are, in effect, they are repeated in certain places. Sorry, like that, do, do, something like that, anyway. <laughs> now, the diminished chord that we're going to use for this is here. So that riff that we go... We can play that like this. We got the F, F diminished, well, diminished, C, Set Robert Johnson A. Okay, I'm going to show you that again slowly. F diminished shape, which let me call out the um, the frets I'm using. So I've got the D string on the seventh fret. That's this note. My when I'm wobbling, I have got on my second finger the F sharp note on the B string, right? That's these two. And I have got here the D flat note on the G string and the top string here. I am playing the um, I am playing the C note, and it should sound like this. Yeah, bit of a sinister one. Um, okay, so that sequence is going to go F diminished chord. Then we've got the C chord that we used earlier it down one and then into the Robert Johnson A. Okay now the D7 that we use next is the A shape again but moved up this time to the seventh fret with that little so you're bouncing off the a G. Now what I was doing with a G was this little riff. Yep, yeah. and that is taken from the G chord, the bar chord there, and we take this part of it, we take that note which is the B note and the G note of the top string to make this shape. This is a good shape to learn because you can use it in different chords and different keys. So we take that move first, then both fingers together but leaving the B note out of it, up on the 5th fret. You slide that up once, and again. So. Back 
Okay, so I'm going to play the whole sequence, but quite slowly. C. C to E7 to A7. F to Robert Johnson A to a riff on the D minor. F diminished chord walk down from C into the Robert Johnson A D7 and then a little riff on the G and with singing just so you get the idea we've got once I lived the life of a millionaire Spending all my money Well, I didn't have a care Took all my friends out For a mighty good time I drank bootleg liquor Champagne and wine Then I began to fall so low Lost all my good friends Had nowhere to go If I get my hands on a dollar again I'll hold on to it till that ego grins Okay, so hopefully that's made it clear for you. There are other things that I could show you, but I think it's probably confusing enough already. Instead of this diminished chord, when you were here, I did show you this idea that you can just walk up with the, from the F. And that's a simple enough thing to do. You really don't need any more than that bass note for that. The F sharp bass note, C down to A7, okay. Now I don't know how clear that is going to be, but I've given it my best shot, okay? Uh, if I can help any more, let me know.